start screen is what I call the face of Windows 8. It's what you've seen in all the advertising for this operating system and for the various devices using it. The start screen is the control center for accessing your Windows 8 apps. When you use the term app to refer to applications that are created specifically for Windows 8. And I'll use the term program or applications for uh, software that was written for earlier versions of Windows and runs in the desktop mode, or that simply is much more complicated software that doesn't really run in the start screen mode. Each app, or in some cases applications, can also be represented on the start screen, but each app or application is represented by a tile. And again, this is designed really for touch, but you can use a mouse as well. So you can either tap on a tab for, let's say, Internet Explorer, or click it with the mouse, and there is our Internet Explorer. To close an app that's open, you just grab it at the top and drag down. Many apps present more information than can be located on one screen. And so on a touch device, you can swipe left or right on a mouse-enabled laptop or desktop. There's a scroll bar at the bottom. You can scroll through information. Many of these tiles are also live, so if I wanted more information, uh, let's say I wanted to read this Wall Street Journal article, I can click on it, and it'll take me to that article. Notice there's a little button up here at the top to go backwards. And again, to close an app, just drag it down from the top. The start screen itself can also be scrolled. You'll probably have more tiles than what can be viewed. Uh, within your desktop space. And I'll show you in a later video how you can rearrange the tiles as well as resize the tiles. With an app open, you don't have to close it to go back to the Start menu. You can press the Windows key on the keyboard and that will take you back to your Start screen. When you have an app that's open, you may toggle to the last app simply by touching the upper left hand corner with the, with the touch device or pointing to it with the mouse and clicking on it and that'll take you back to that app. You can also get to the start menu by going to the upper right hand corner to bring up the charms bar and clicking the windows icon in the center of the charms bar. The page up and page down buttons also work to scroll from the keyboard whether you're on the start menu or if you're inside of an app. And if you have multiple programs that are currently open, rather than just coming up and pointing to the top one, you can go up to the top left corner and drag down and see all the apps that you have open. And you can go to another app. You'll notice some tiles are changing as we sit here on the start screen. One in particular is this Bing Sports tile. And this is what we call a live tile. As sports headlines comes in, we will see those appear um, on this tile. It's a way of getting quick information um, just from the start screen.